Quick disclaimer before we get underway today, some people can experience seizures when exposed to flashing lights or other visual stimuli, even if you've never been diagnosed. Please do not play this word or continue watching this video if you encounter disorientation, lightheadedness, altered vision, involuntary twitching slash jerking movements, or momentary losses of awareness or consciousness. The author tried very hard to avoid anything that would cause physical discomfort, but everyone is different. If you understand this, then welcome to yet another edition of Doom Mod Madness. This time, we're checking out a mod called Lilith. So this is going to be a difficult one for me to cover because I've, I've tried to play Lilith in the past and what happened to me was my brain uh, just refused to deal with it. It just turned to mush and I had to put it away for a while and say, so you know what, I'll, I'll come back to it some other time when I've had a rest, when, when I've, I've had a little bit of time to really prepare for what I'm going to be putting myself through. And if I had to describe Lilith, in its simplest form, it is a corruption, pure and simple. A corruption of Doom, a corruption of the sprites, the sounds, the levels, the textures. But you got to remember, to make this intentional requires a particular kind of effort to have things look this comprehensively fucked up and broken requires dedication, and that alone blows my goddamn mind. This is simultaneously an abomination and a masterpiece. It really is. It's something that never should have been and something that absolutely everyone should know about. It's a kaleidoscopic nightmare factory of a mod that honestly hypnotizes you into thinking that it kind of makes sense the longer you play it. Because underlining all of this visual chaos, the kind of stuff that makes your brain want to forcibly disconnect itself from your spine, there is structure. I mean, now that I say it out loud, it sounds kind of stupid, but bear with me here. There is, there is logic. It's in here somewhere. There are keys, there are doors, there are exits. Of these things, you can be sure. And those are the things that you will be desperately holding on to to get you through. I mean, it's all I had. It's all I had. You gotta understand. I was trapped here. For hours. I'm still trapped here. Hey there, this is Mr. Icarus, and welcome to yet another edition of Doom Mod Madness. This time around, we're checking out a mod by the name of Lilith. Now, on the surface, everything might seem okay, but if you look a little closer here, you'll start to notice that a few things are kind of out of place, wrong, broken, even. But less about me. Let's talk more about the mod. You know what's funny? Lilith actually feels like it could be more broken. That's the only kind of valid criticism I feel I could actually bring to bear against it, because in truth, if it were 100%, corrupted, it, it would be impossible to finish a level, let alone get through several. But really, that is where Lilith digs its hooks into you, because it gives you the false hope that this might be worth enduring. And I can guarantee for 95, no, let's say 98% of you out there, this, th this isn't going to be for you. You'll take one look at this and be like, no thanks, I'm good. That is, unless you've got a thing for sensory overload, because holy shit will Lilith provide that in spades. It is a absolute awe-inspiring marvel of a mod, and it's quite possibly one of the most awful things I have ever played. It is it is seriously up there. I wouldn't dare compare it with the piece of shit like a Terry one. I mean, for one, this actually required effort to make, but still, I'd say that now that I've done it, I never want to do it again. In all honesty though, if you've got the stomach or the mental derangement required to reach the end game stages of Lilith, then firstly you have my respect and secondly you also have my pity because you'll never be the same. You'll never be the same again. At the very least you'll be left with the same kind of questions that I have which largely boils down to how and why. On the first front I would be endlessly fascinated to learn how this was made, how it was constructed, how you make this do that. 
On the subject of why, however, it wouldn't surprise me to learn that the author did it simply because they could, or conversely, because they made a Faustian pact with a demonic force. Either seems just as likely in my eyes, but in either case, if you're interested in playing this for yourself, don't fucking run away! What are you doing? Why are you still here? If you're still here, the link is in the description below. It requires a little bit of effort to get it working, but trust me when I say you're making a terrible decision. You know who'd agree with me on that? My patrons. You can see them scrolling up the screen right now. Wonderful people. They help support the channel and make content like this possible. And if you're interested in lending a hand, maybe joining that very same list or even gaining access to early editions of my new video as well, you'll find the link to my Patreon page also in the description below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I'll completely understand if you didn't, but in either case, feel free to let me know what you thought in the comments, and feel free to suggest any mod you'd like to see me cover in future editions of Doom Mod Madness. This has been Mr. Icarus. Thank you very much for watching. Icarus out.